John Newland shares a story from his book, Ordinary, an ordinary man's experience with God. John says this, pride is like bad breath. You're the only one that doesn't know you have it. John reminds us how we must remain humble and keep a healthy fear of God. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. I like what you said in regards to pride. You know, you talk about, you know, that what kept Naaman from wanting to follow right. you know, was pride and that, you know, when God gives us a word of knowledge, we can not do it sometimes because of pride. But you said very specifically in your book about pride, you said pride is like bad breath. Right. Everyone knows you have it. But you. But you, yeah. right? Right. Talk about it a little bit because that's so important, you know, that sometimes we have to hear other people speaking into our life to help us right. listen. Like, this is what God's saying. This is what you need to do. Right. Well, the Lord says to humble ourselves, mm -hmm. that God gives grace to the humble, mm -hmm. and that the pride He either shoes or puts back, He puts down in some way. Yeah. And pride uh, cometh before fall, okay? Mm -hmm. So we want to be humble, right? right. We, if we recognize the pride. So to me, mm -hmm. it's not wrong to be proud about your children or what they've done, right. okay? Mm -hmm. The wrong thing about pride is when you think you're like God. Mm -hmm. Satan got kicked out of heaven because I'm like him, okay? He I became, will. I will, I, I will, okay? Right. So that's what I, I keep wanting to try to say or get across. Right. I'm nothing without God. Right. I'm a worm. I'm nothing without God. Right. He's so big. He's the creator of the whole universe. How yeah. big is he? He's got a star he created that five quadrillion earths will fit in. Right. How big is that? A right. quadrillion so much more than a trillion. Right. It's unbelievable. Right. Okay, so our God is huge. What, we're gonna compare ourselves with Him? Right. When we come into His presence, I think we're gonna be on our face. Yes. Maybe even in Revelation for a half hour, nobody says a thing. Mm. Oh, it's not gonna be our sure. ministry in that day. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's an right. awesome fear of God. Right. So in this day, we need to recognize pride when we see it, okay? You know, right. we do it. And, right. and, and, but like I said, you can't really see it right. because you're aware and you're the one with it. So right. I, I don't know totally. I'm still trying to figure yeah. out how. Well, I think that's one thing you do. You actually have other people in your life. Yes. If you're an isolated person, right. that could be a sign. Yes. But the, the thing you have when you have relationships around you that speak truth right. to you, that you have a good relationship, they tell you. Yeah, your they wife help you will out. tell you when you got bad breath, and she'll tell you, you too. You, yes. Yeah, she'll yeah. tell you too. The, the wife is there to help you, <laughs> to help you be crucified, right. my friend, right. to die to self, okay? Right. I've heard that uh, embarrassment is like flesh burning. The pride's going to be about the flesh. It's all right. about you being the king of self. Mm. That's the flesh, the pride of life, right. the lust of the eyes. They are not of the Father, okay? Right. So that's about the best I can say. Well, I know that one time I was, uh, you know, just just trying to hear the Lord on a particular matter, and as a God began to reveal to me about, you know, pride and what it is and that type of thing, I started saying, "Well, Lord, it's everywhere. Everywhere right. you look, it's just pride. You know, help us." Yeah. And then, and the Lord says, "Don't look for pride. Right. He's look for humility. Right. Because humility is the opposite of pride. Right. So if you don't see humility." you're looking at pride. Right. And so humility is total dependency on God and respect. Right, it is. For other people, yeah, there you know? it is. And I thought, wow, we just gotta, instead of focusing on pride, right. it was just focus on things you've been talking about the whole time, right. depend, calling out on God, depending right. on God, and just humbling ourselves again and again and again. Right. He's cool with it, we right. just have to remember that doing it, but I don't know, I'm not well, an expert well, on but, it either, so. Pride will keep you away from the Lord, see? Yeah. You're too proud to go to the altar. You're yeah. too proud. What yeah. comes in humility is when you say, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, God. He's okay with um, that. Yes, though. he loves it. It's yeah. a daily thing. It, okay, here's one of my favorite scriptures. Mm -hmm. Favorite scriptures. And I use it every time I went to the altar with this, with a, with this uh, person coming right. back. Okay, it's, it's John 1.9. Mm -hmm. If you'll confess your sin, he, that's talking about Jesus, he's faithful to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. That's right. So where the humility comes is calling on the Lord, laying down right. your pride, call yeah. to Him. Yeah. yeah, whoever's hearing this out there, you need to call to Him. Yeah, yeah and I know, you know, Dr. Cho talks about you know, praying the tabernacle prayer, and here he is, a man of a, a lot, largest church in South Korea, 
But every day he goes before, you know, in his heart and mind, walking right. in his mind towards the tab tabernacle prayer. But when he gets to the cross, the brazen altar, he's like, oh, Jesus, forgive me. Forgive right. me of my sins. Right. Forgive me of what I may have thought. I mean, this is a man who's used, used mightily, but right. he's focused on the right. reality outside of repentance. and for, I mean, it's okay. Right. Sometimes we, when people do that to a person, sometimes the person says, I'm not going to forgive you again. Right. Peter even said, how many times i got to forgive right. those folks, right? But God's like, hey, I'm in there. If you'll, if you'll repent, if you will ask me to forgive you, I'll right. forgive you. Yeah, he says 70 times, <laughs> seven, 490. It's not, oh, you a, can. it's not a number, it's a reality. Yeah. Jesus is the mercy seat. Yeah. You come to him daily yeah. seeking his mercy. Thank God yeah. for his mercy. Wait, 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 don't go anywhere. Subscribe. Listen, together we can touch the world. That's right, subscribe below, right? Wait, 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 don't go away. Subscribe. We're going to touch the world. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. Hey, be sure to check us out at vfnkb.com and also join the VFNKB community at vfnkbcommunity.com. Listen, your success is our success. Our success is your success. And our success together is kingdom success.